Hello automators. Today we're setting up the brand new Pixel 5a. Start by whipping your new child out of its box and marveling at its beauty. Hmm? Hmm. The phone comes with everything you need to get started, including a USB to USB-C adapter, a USB-C wall power adapter, and a USB-C cable. It sports a dual camera setup with one at 12 megapixels and the other at 16. The display is slightly larger than the previous Pixel 5. As always, it's recommended to grab yourself a case for your phone in the off chance you have meat hands and drop things constantly. To set it up, start by powering it on, select your language of choice, and hit start. Next, you need to plug in your SIM card, add your eSIM, or you can skip this for now and come back to it later. Next, connect your phone to your home network. Again, you can skip this and come back later. Once connected, your phone will take a bit of time to sort itself out by juggling colorful little shapes. Once it's tired of juggling and you've cornered it, your phone will give you the option to transfer all of your old files over from your retiring phone. To do this, connect your old device via the USB-C cable. If you've come to the light from Apple, connect your lightning to USB cable to the USB to USB-C adapter and plug that in. Your old phone will ask if you're really abandoning it after all you've been through together. At which point, hit copy to say, yes, can you blame me? Look at this new phone. Goodbye forever. Make sure both devices are unlocked and follow the prompts on your 5A to decide what to transfer over. You can specify exactly which apps and files you want by tapping on each tab and selecting them. On this screen, you'll be able to customize what Google services your device will use, including if it sends usage and diagnostic data to Google. Covertly set your screen lock password. You can also set up your fingerprint scan here. Next, you'll be given the option to set up voice match. We've already done that, but to set it up, just follow the on-screen prompts and babble at your phone a bit. You can also set this up later from the Google Home app. Now you have the option to set up Google Pay. Hit add card and plug in your details or skip. You can add another email account, use your phone to identify songs playing in your vicinity, change your font size, drain your battery, and specify what appears on your lock screen. Once you've gone through these steps, your two phones will begin to mind melt. Once that's done, you just have to choose whether or not your phone will blind you anytime you turn it on past sundown, by choosing dark mode or light mode, and you're all set up. Touch controls are activated by default. Swipe from the bottom of the screen and hold to switch the apps you're using. To return to your previous app screen, swipe from the left or right edge of your screen towards the middle. Scream at your Google Assistant by swiping up from either bottom corner of the device. And if gestures aren't your thing, you can go into your settings app and turn on button controls. You're all set up, go forth and be the best new phone person you can be. If you're looking for a full rundown of the new Pixel 5a and our thoughts on it, head to this video. Thanks for watching.